I am a graduate. I have tried all my possible best to look for a job, but I can't even find one. And that is why I employ myself here. The country economy is hard and nobody even wants to sow. Ya Allah, this is not fair. Assalamu alaikum. Wa My friend, what is the matter, Sister Rahima? I'm taking bread and water. I can't afford this type of beans with plantain. Oh, I understand how you must be feeling. Yes, this looks so sad, but still, we should be thankful to Allah in all situations. And guess what? Allah only tests those that He loves. Do you know where I'm coming from? Where? Do you remember my friend Ada? Hmm. Okay. Her mom is very sick. She had a surgery. And you know, they are very rich. She couldn't even afford to take one spoon of all the various kind of food that is on their dining table, including a big roasted chicken and um, a, a, a well garnished tilapia fish with salad. She's not able to even drink water. Water. She's so much in pain that she can't even drink water. Ah. And because of that, even her children and loved ones couldn't eat. They are sad and worried for her. Won't you just be thankful to Allah? No matter what we encounter or face as test in this world, we should never speak ill of Allah. We should never fault Allah, my friend. We should never ask him why. Because he knows why. And he that created us, promised us in the Quran, chapter 94, verse 5 to 6, that verily after every difficulty there is relief. And truly after every difficulty there is relief. My dear friend, you have this clean water. Ah. Mm. Alhamdulillah. Do you know how many countries that are willing to have this kind of clean water? Let us give thanks to Almighty Allah and let's ask for His forgiveness. <laughs> May Allah forgive me. MashaAllah. That's the spirit, my sister. Guess what? What? You just passed the interview. Oh, Alhamdulillah! You see? You should be thankful to Allah in all situations because He has His ways.